watching me describing celebrities, but the one who I am with today, I am nobody to describe who she is. I am with Asha Barak. Yes, now we come here. Welcome on your opinion. Thank you. Uh, you're coming up with this, the red girl. Yeah, with this very lovely title. I really want to know how did this title actually come first? Well, we didn't have a title first, and mm -hmm. uh, it was Mr. Ajay Mako of Home Books uh, Publishing. Yeah. And Mr. Khaled Mohammed, they were sitting and talking about it mm -hmm. that we don't have a title for the book. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, I, Mr. Ajay Mako said, Let's write Hit Girl. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, Khaled thought about it and he said, No, I think it is a good. Yeah. When you entered in the film industry back, you faced rejection. You are not a star material. It was claimed like that. What is the star material that people usually talk about? Well, at Who that the time, star? it was glamour, yeah. it was uh, acting, mm -hmm. and uh, what else I would say? Mm -hmm. That's what you need to be an actor. Until that, Mr. Nasir Hussain cast you in Dil De Ke Dekho, um, the things were not really falling at place. It right? wasn't falling at that time, the reason being. There were lots of naysayers also saying yeah. that I should not be taken yeah, in the film. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, Mr. Shashidhar Mukherjee and Mr. Mm -hmm. Nasir Hussain thought that, no, this is a person who can become a star. So, star. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, ma'am, in the book itself, when I was reading it, uh, you have also confirmed that, you know, yes, there was something, there were feelings between uh, you and Mr. Nasir Hussain. I want to ask that, um, why was it really difficult for actresses or for star, be it actor or actresses, to actually conform to their feeling at that time? No, because the press never asked. It's okay. you people who are asking now. You see to actresses today and they talk about and open about pay disparity, about things like gender discrimination. I'm sure that these things, these issues were also there. In yeah, they were there in the... So didn't time, you ever so. feel like rebelling and no. you know, taking a... No. Why? I mean... Well, it was a hero-oriented uh, film industry. It still is. It is. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we didn't think about that sort of so thing. These issues were not really prominent at that time. No. Are you telling me? No. That? All right. And uh, um, Salman Khan launched your book in Mumbai. Amir Khan is launching it here. Why not another legendary actor like you? Why not, you know, yesterday? Well, the publishers wanted uh, Amir Khan and they wanted Salman Khan. And Salman Khan is in the forward of the book. Uh, I'm going to see the, uh, you know, the generation today, there are actresses like Kangana, Anushka, Deepika, who are all in front, you know, talking about their own selves, talking about things like depression and all these issues. Was it easy for actresses then to go in the front and talk about these things? I did not have depression when I was working. No, but other things. Afterwards, like it was because of my parents, losing my parents, I got into this mm -hmm. sort of a depression. Mm -hmm. No films anymore? Right now, no. No? No. So, if if at all that this you know this feeling emerges right away that that you want to work what would be that kind of work that would interest you something interesting something uh, which is based on me i would like mm -hmm. to do that all sort of like a biopic or something not yeah. a biopic as such but uh, yes some good interesting character role since i mentioned biopic <laughs> who would be the actor that you like to cast him i think alia bhatt would be the right person yeah. because she's yeah. that bubbly sort of a thing and i mm -hmm. was also uh, I started my career when I was 16, so mm -hmm. it's just the age is also the same. Mm -hmm. So I think she would be the right person. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any autobiography that you have read and uh, you were really inspired from? I really liked Andrea it. Andrea Gassi. Uh, uh, you see filmmaking today and filmmaking then, storytelling then, storytelling today. What is the worst and the best part when you find in that craft, when you compare the filmmaking of both eras? With the errors. Yeah. Well, now the work has become more systematic. Okay. Technically, they, we are much more superior mm -hmm. than the Hollywood films. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would feel that uh, I wish we could also do one film at a time. Yeah. In our time, we mm -hmm. were doing four or five okay. films. So mm -hmm. I wish we could do that. Thank you very much, ma'am. Before we, I'm sorry I'm asking you this, but we have this in signature handshake that we need to do. Oh.